Hi, I am Balaji. I wrote the FTRE exam and joined FITGE in 6th standard with a scholarship of 99%. The maths sirs, the maths faculty of FITGE were especially masterful and proficient in their topics and uh, they guided me through a lot of innovative and creative challenging questions which covered a variety of topics and that uh, foundation was set by 8th standard itself. So when it came to, uh, it basically boiled down to physics and chemistry and uh, you won't come down to the real physics and chemistry until 11th standard. Uh, that's when you'll face the real challenging uh, topics in physics and chemistry. In 9th and 10th, I had a, uh, a preview of what would be taught in 11th, like uh, in chemistry, atomic structure or in physics, uh, I don't know what, kinematics per se. Uh, and that would be pursued on a much higher level in a much higher intensity in 11th and 12th. Uh, in 9th and 10th, I focused on the basic questions and solving Olympiad questions in maths, uh, in RMO exam and INMO exam, and that was uh, a big that played a big role in tackling questions in especially in JE Advance. And uh, fast forward to 11th and 12th. Uh, in 11th and 12th. The faculty was so good, so proficient, they taught everything step by step and uh, especially in physics and chemistry it's very important to have that clarity and that understanding of concepts. So for that uh, I just referred, whenever I had a doubt I just referred to my search notes and it was uh, more than enough. And uh, I had frank discussions with my faculty. Uh, regarding doubts in let's say physical or organic chemistry uh, but uh, chemistry more likely uh, you would find inorganic more difficult because of the memory part and uh, the search really helped me uh, throughout when it came to physics the main uh, challenge is solving tough and lengthy questions which are uh, much more common in JE advance so with a strong insight in uh, physics and chemistry, uh, now uh, now it shifts to the focus shifts to maths phase two, which is calculus, linear algebra, conic sections, uh, tough 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 chapters like that, which are not covered in original Olympiad questions. So to solve that, uh, I just uh, to solve questions in uh, these tough chapters, I just used the help of archives, Fiji archives, Fiji packages, tab assignments and the worksheets provided my, uh, by my teachers which uh, had these uh, carefully curated questions, well uh, developed questions with, uh, which are both lengthy and had a ranging difficulty, some were really easy, some were really difficult and uh, the important thing in the JE advanced preparation is you just need to solve, 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 solve as many questions as possible because it's not enough, whatever you have uh, prepared until now is uh, is just not enough and you need to keep preparing more and more and more. You need to have the drive and motivation and the desire uh, because in, in the final exam it's all about getting as many marks as possible, uh, catching each and every opportunity as, as possible and uh, uh, in Fiji we were provided with a variety of tests ranging from chap, uh, chap tests, uh, AITS exams and uh, various other MyPAT exams um, which were both uh, interesting as well as difficult uh, and they helped me a lot. Basically when it comes to ta tackling a tough JE advanced exam so it comes about uh, each and every uh, have, the focus shifts to each and every single question so you have to tackle one question at a time whereas in JE mains exam you have to just speed things up and uh, uh, you have to focus more on speed, whereas in JE Advance it's more about the concept. So, in uh, especially when I'm writing hard AITS exams, the format uh, will vary with exam to exam and uh, I wrote a lot of exams and e after each and every exam it's very important to do the test analysis and uh, to sit with your teachers and have that frank discussion of your mistakes, analyze them thoroughly uh, more than once to have an idea, a clear idea of where you are going wrong, to uh, have an idea of the faults in your thinking. The Fiji faculty were especially helpful in the same thing and uh, they had regular doubt sessions and uh, classes. Uh, 
they did more than they could to help us throughout this entire journey so uh, i solved questions from a variety of materials like uh, fiji grandmaster packages fiji archives and fiji review packages which were especially uh, uh, contained a good lot of questions they contained a variety of format of questions because uh, currently the je advance format is not fixed sometimes you can get numerical questions sometimes you can get uh, more multi correct questions and the review packages had a lot of different variety of questions now i'll move on to my preparation uh, for je uh, one month before je advance exam so i had to slog off every single day and put in the 12 hours of work and discipline and dedication and that was required on a consistent basis throughout the 30 days uh, pre- prior to the je advance exam so this was a very diff- very very ta- challenging task so what i did to cope up with it was just to, uh, i woke up in the morning at 5 o'clock had my breakfast and normal routine and at 9 o'clock i headed off to fiji started solving our uh, subject to questions one by one by one i finished one chapter then the next chapter and so on and uh, eventually uh, subject to uh, the subject to our case itself there were there are like hundreds of questions and it would be very difficult to cover if not uh if you are not consistent so i found that going to the fiji campus where uh, and uh, being the presence of the faculty helped me a lot so when i am in uh, when i am inside the fiji campus i am able to focus more and i am not distracted easily by my uh, social media and uh, eventually i uh, throughout the month i just gave up on tv social media and that helped me a lot through my preparation after the first mains exam i was depressed because of my poor performance and uh, had really depressing thoughts but to overcome it my uh, faculties uh, i approached my faculties they uh, they gave me a specific set of instructions a uh, few questions to solve and uh, more areas to focus and concentrate upon so i did that especially with uh, maths being the most challenging section of late in both je mains and je advanced I did a lot of math questions and for JEE examination as such problem solving is the key you have to do as many questions as possible so uh, to develop both the speed and the uh, efficiency of problem uh, accuracy of problem solving uh, that's what uh, helped me uh, secure a 99.9 percentile in the second JEE mains exam and that gave me a real boost of confidence for the JEE advance exam uh that gave me the uh, motivation to consistently work and solve questions for 12 hours a day uh throughout the 30 days prior to je advance exam uh my advice to the juniors would be uh, don't give up at an, such an early stage and uh, it's all about the work you put and uh, the effort that will be translated eventually into a success story the motto uh, my motto i followed was no pain no gain Uh, I thank my parents and all the Fiji faculty who have helped me throughout my preparation and wish them to continuously do so for the upcoming generations.